be no doubt. <laughs> and good morning. <laughs> Jeff bought me a coffee for my birthday. That's tomorrow. I didn't forget yeah. about her birthday, everybody. It's tomorrow. No. Oh so. my gosh. No. Steph, Steph knows my birthday. Yes. Steph yes. already gave me my present. She knows my birthday so much. So <laughs> by no means. I'm not going to see you, which is I know. stupid. It is stupid. Oh, I literally, that's our Monday together. I know. Are you going to do staffing at work? Will you be at Yeah, office? I'm going to be at work because I think I've, I scheduled appointments beforehand. Dude, if it ends early, let's just record a PS on our phone. Let's do it. I literally just thought about that. Let's just do staffing in the same room. Why are we sitting opposite each other with our I literally don't know why we do that (laughs) because I we're literally next to each other here. So we could just be in the same room, (laughs) sit on your couch and do it. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Okay. We're going to do that Uh, 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 because it always ends early. But anyways, that is not why we are here today. We are here today to continue our cognitive errors series for our PS episodes. And today we are going to talk about labeling this is four three three Mm -hmm. is it mind reading and then catastrophizing yes you're right yes not that i doubted that you were right i just have to frame an have to see the list in my well whenever you doubt me then i doubt myself and i'm like wait is that right i don't yeah it doesn't fucking matter it's gonna it doesn't matter what we say right now because because it's gonna be right on the blurb (laughs) that's what's that's what matters so going back we're talking about labeling. So labeling shows up when we label ourselves and or other people negatively. Mm-hmm. Everyone struggles with this. I don't want to hear about like, oh, I don't, I, you know, I never really, uh, my never really have this is, issue. Yeah. It's um, embarrassing. And I'm like, well, we're not going to do that. But I'm like, well, where do you think you learned it from, Stephanie? Uh-huh. Yes. Same. Um, literally me. I'm like, you know what? This is so stupid. I shouldn't have done that. But that kind of goes into the sheds and whatnot. So we won't yeah. go that far. But I will say that now in my thirties, I don't do that as much as the labeling, but definitely like my twenties, so much labeling, so much of like, you know, um, like everyone is like further along than you, like you're, you're just setting yourself back or you're like less than, or you're, you know, all of those thoughts. And I don't think that I necessarily labeled myself with like, you're an idiot or you're stupid, but more so of like, maybe there was like, subconsciously from the divorce, like I'm a failure. I was just going to say, I think my main one was probably I'm a failure. You know where my labeling comes out now when I'm driving? You're welcome, you fucking bitch. Like, oh, <laughs> <we're again. laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and I'll label other people for sure. Yes. But like, I, I don't necessarily, I do the other cognitive errors more so on myself of like shoulds and like discounting positives and stuff like that. But what about body image? I'm disgusting. Oh, girl, yes. <laughs> Brain, you got me. <laughs> that, that could, uh, you are like, ugly. I wasn't even pointing yeah. my finger at you, but like. No, I'm but gross, yes. I'm fat. I'm a piece of yeah. shit, right? Like, but you I, absolutely can. Yeah, yeah, I'm disgusting. Like, you're you're gross. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking, yep, oh, 100%. Especially these past two years struggling so hard with body image. Oh, absolutely, man. Or I'm a shit mom. That one comes up for me. Not as much as it used to, but it still comes up. When I review the past, that comes up for me. Sure. It doesn't come up for me now, but definitely when I look at like the time in between the, the, um, divorce. Yeah, sure. absolutely. But then I, I always come back to being able to remind myself of like, I don't know any parent that looks at their parenting and doesn't have like that thought of like having those regrets of like, I, I should have done this. Parents, sh- is like exactly. The review. To know what was not great behavior. And also I have to remind myself like, bitch, you've seen shit parents. So yes. let's knock it off. Okay. Yeah, literally your kid has food. They're eating, they're clothed. They're signed up for extracurricular activities. Yes. They have a social like scene going on. Yep. Like it's okay. Anyways. So as with always, maybe what one should we do? Do you want to walk through one with me? Like walk you through it? I mean, you're better yeah. at it than me, but I can. Just because, just because then you can be just as good at it I, well, in my mind, I already have no doubt that you are just as good at it as I am. I think you just have it more down pat. And I struggled when we, when you first started doing these, I struggled to like grasp it. So then I was like, I'm just not going to fucking do it anymore because I don't get it. And I was mad about it. It's fucking but then stupid. The more you did it, the more I was like, okay, I'm just overthinking it. And what yeah. happens sometimes, and I'll be honest, what happens sometimes is clients will trip me up with their like facts where I'm yeah. like, wait, am I not viewing this correctly? Like, are they right? And then I'm like, no, they're operating in errors. That's the fucking problem, right? Yeah. It has yes. me thinking I'm not doing it right. And then I get all yeah. 
Is Imposter awesome. syndrome. Yes. That also <laughs> is a thing. Okay. Yes. Do you write these down when you do them with me? Um, I, I write down your cognitive error, like the, the statement that you say. Okay. And then as you're talking, if I want to make points, I jot down something that's come out of your mouth, but I typically don't write them down, but that's, I literally do these day in, day out, almost every session. If it's not, if it's not an EMDR session, I usually am pulling these up if they're not new clients. Yeah, sure. So, well, then you can just help me if I stumble along. Oh my God. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm going to sit here and just breathe heavily and see, (laughs) see what you're going to fucking do. Okay. So again, Mari goes through these very easily, right? It's a step seven step process to figure Mm -hmm. out what are your errors? How are you feeling? How can we rework these things? Where are the facts, right? We're looking for all of these things. So if you had to think about a situation in which you were labeling Mar, Mar, Mar. what would the situation be? We're going to do body image because I think that is something that's super relatable for everybody. And it's literally something that comes up every day for me recently, like the past six months, literally. So what would it be like? Where are you? Who are you with? What are you doing? I feel like I already know the answer to this. It's usually when I'm getting ready in the morning. I'm usually alone or like Sophie Jeffer in the house, but they're not like with me getting dressed. Sure. Um, And is it like getting ready, ready for the day or putting your workout clothes on? Does that really matter? It's getting ready, ready for the day because putting workout clothes doesn't necessarily bother me because I can wear like looser shirts or like, I don't know. I feel comfortable in leggings usually all the time, especially if I'm at my house and I know that I'm not going to be in front of anybody. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's usually like getting ready for the day and like what I want to wear. Okay. So then identify the feelings or emotions you experience and rate each one in strength from zero to, do you do zero to 10 or do you do zero to a hundred? I do zero to 10 because okay, some people easier. think that all of the has to equal a hundred. Yes. And okay. I'm not uh, like, that's not we're, we're by any means at any point in therapy, I avoid math at all costs. So Fair no part of me is like, let's add it to a hundred. No, no. no. Um, so I would say embarrassed. What do you rate that at? Uh, five. Okay. Anger, nine. Irritability, nine. Sadness, um, five or six. Six. We'll say six. Um, ashamed, um, six. I think those, that's what comes up for me. So embarrassment, anger, irritability, sadness, and ashamed. Yes. What specific negative automatic thought do you experience? Um, just real quick, ADHD coming in. Are we in the speaker view on yes. your thing? Or are we in the normal view? Speaker, like the, the side by side. The two people. Okay. Yep. I changed it. <laughs> okay. Um, cause I just, my mouse was hovering over the thing and I moved it and I was like, oh shit, I should ask. Cause I hated that fucking, the no, one word. Dumb. It was stupid. Um, okay. What my automatic negative thought. Yep. I'm disgusting. Okay. You're gross. So again, labeling yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm disgusting. You're gross. You're fat. More so like, yeah, like those. And it's all internal. That is, I don't say it out loud. I'm very, very, very cognizant of, I do not want Sophia Mm -hmm. to, to, to ever hear me call myself fat or disgusting or any of those things, because it is so completely, uh, it, my view, I don't want her ever internalizing that because her and I, I think are just going to have very different bodies. Mm-hmm. And so I, I already don't want her to be like, well, my body doesn't look like my mom's body mm-hmm. and ha- feel some type of way. Sure. And so I'm very, very, this is all internal, but the problem with it being all internal is that irritability, irritability and anger gets projected onto Sophia and Jeff with just snappiness and like sure. tone in like frustration because I'm frustrated with myself. I'm not yes. frustrated. I'm frustrated with my body. I'm not frustrated with anybody else. It's mm-hmm. my body and the appearance. And here's where it gets for me doing these with people. Not mm-hmm. that it gets tricky or it gets uncomfortable, but this is where I can sometimes trip up on doing these with people. So, so just- I'm going to do this as if I'm not me, this part. Okay. So then I can help you because, because right now in my mind, there's no facts. There is no facts. Well, I'm not you disgusting. Like BMI, right? Like BMI could say that you're overweight. But if I've looked at BMI when I've been 
God, I think my Mine always says I'm overweight. My too. top is I think for my height, I'm supposed to be like 135 or 138. And when I was sicker than shit with my um the the okay. back the yeah. bacteria and the the first find out I had celiacs, I was 142. And I was like, yes. like I was I was gauntly. So in my mind, I don't ever view that chart as accurate. Same. I don't at all. So I because I, because I've gotten to the 142 and I was literally like. I was in size two jeans. I've mm-hmm. never been in size two jeans because I have a hips and butt. I've never, never like, that's just not how my body style is going to be. Yeah. So I think that that's stupid. So when people say like, when people say, well, I'm, I'm the BMI chart says blah, 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 blah. I give that example of like, sure. You may see that number on the scale and think that that, but like, but that doesn't equate to you being fit, like physically, mentally, emotionally healthy. Yes. So I don't, I, I argue that point with them. Sure. If we're going strictly science, I'll give you that as a fact, if that's what you want, but that's one fact. Right. And my, my fact wasn't like, I'm, I'm morbidly obese. Yes. Mine is I'm disgusting. Mm -hmm. I don't have facts that prove that that's true. I'm not disgusting. And I can challenge that all day long. But if I was a client, I could say, I could say like, I should be working out more. I feel gross in my clothes. I, and they're thinking that these are all facts, Yes, but they're not. I started with, I shouldn't. So shoulds, I I feel like feelings are not facts. Like Mm -hmm. we could go down the line. Right. But, but I tech, I don't have, cause that is the, my, my number one label that comes up is like, I'm disgusting. Yes. I don't have facts that prove that that's true. That's a feeling. I feel mm-hmm. disgusting. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how not... I challenge it often, not to like throw us off this whole yeah. process, but that's how I challenge things often when I'm hormonal and I feel like a loaf of bread. I feel disgusting. I feel like I look like a potato, right? Like I feel those like just, a loaf. I feel like yeah. sourdough right now. Like, literally, right? Yeah. I feel like a busted can of biscuits. That does not mean yeah. that that's true. I know that when I am hormonal, I'm looking through a funhouse mirror. I have come yeah. to realize that by looking at trends of feelings and thoughts and understanding, and this is an error that we'll get to later, but that thoughts and feelings aren't facts. Yes. <clears throat> okay. So identify evidence that does not support the thought that you are disgusting. I get up almost every day and attempt movement. I, most, most weeks, I would say, if we're looking at a month, three out of the four weeks of the month, I am very diligent about making meals for myself that show up and make me feel good. Mm -hmm. In these situations, can you ask for other people's feedback that they've given you? So on the top of the sheet, do you have the cognitive errors one that I go off of? So on the top of that, when you struggle with, with step five, Mm -hmm. you can ask those questions. So like, what would a friend or a loved one say to you? What would they, like, how would you, if your friend came to you and said this, how would you, how would you respond to them? Like that one time that I told you you were disgusting. I'm just kidding. I've never told you that you're disgusting. (laughs) When I I said, you know, you're looking kind of fucking big. Okay. (laughs) You're looking, you're looking a little big bitch. (laughs) Um, so, so being able to, to the, um, fucking words, Mari, I had a, I had a Ritalin and coffee, but ta, ta, tubby, ta, ba, ba. step five, looking at, I am, when I look in the mirror, I know that I don't look the way that it comes out on pictures. Yes. So like what really I got, Soph and I ran a 5k for her girls on the run. My stepmom took the most fucking horrendous pictures, just terrible angles. Mm -hmm. Like one, I was like this, like, it's not a good angle for anybody. And I know that I know that. And I can see that. And I can even like, I was standing in the mirror today and I was like, your face looks fine. Mm -hmm. And then when you're like this, it's not going to look fine. Like it's, that's just life, Mari. Like that's what it's going to be. And I don't have some super chiseled defined jawline. So it's not like I'm fucking cutting, you know, people's hearts anyways, like throats with my neck. (laughs) (laughs) Like, and, and like yesterday we went to a graduation party and took a picture in a dress. The dress that I got was from Walmart and I love it. It's so like preppy and sweet. It's like a light blue. And then the bottom has white around the bottom and it cinches like at my waist. And I feel like it looks so good on my body. And I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, okay, I, this is really flattering for me. I really like this. Mm-hmm. And then in the pictures, I look like I have saggy floppy mom boobs. Oh, like, no. like it just looks like 
filled up. And yes. like, am I, am I overweight right now? Absolutely. So are my boobs bigger than I'm typically normally used to? Because I've always had like a medium to smaller size chest. Yes. Does that mean that that, that picture is an accurate representation of what I look like? No. And I can challenge that in my head. Right. So, so I have all of these situations and examples and times that don't prove any of that. Another one that I always try to use on five is like my body is not my worth. Like what mm -hmm. my physical appearance looks like is not